G'day guys and girls, here's a question for you. What do you reckon's got the most nutritional value for your dog? A whole possum like that? Or a roll of this, posse yum? We'll answer that question a bit later on in this video. I'm a real big fan of raw foods, so today I'm going to be making up a mix of dog tucker. Ideally I'd normally make up a whole big batch and then doing lots, but for the sake of video I'm just going to do it step by step to show you guys. What have I got? I've got some chicken necks that I bought at the shop. $2.56 for a whole lot of chicken necks. I'll tell you why I'm using those in a minute. I've got heart, I've got kidney, and I've got liver here. And we'll talk about what that does too. Right, yeah, let's start with the heart. That's about that much in my hand. Kidneys are just nutrient dense. I love kidneys. We're going to smack, say, half in for him. Let's whack it up a little bit more. Right, yeah, liver. Now, liver contains so much good stuff, but we're only going to give him about or half an ounce. Reason being it also contains vitamin A. You don't want too much vitamin A for your dog. It can cause bone problems and all sorts of headaches. Plus, too much liver can give your dog the runs. But a little bit like that there, it's good nutrition, so smack that in. Chicken necks, I buy these because I can't get that many necks. Why do I like chicken necks? I love the fact that these bones do not cause a dog to choke in any shape or form and you can throw them in like that. And that is a great form of calcium for the dog. He will love that. Right, we'll feed this to him now and see how he goes on it. Sit. Sit up. I just love those chicken necks, eh? Hey? Always the favourite. Come on, get a tear into the heart. Getting down pretty fast, mate. So you can see Pace really enjoyed that. Some of the other things I feed my dogs, which are controversial, and that's uh, eggs. I've always given my dogs eggs. Some vets say it can cause salmonella, and there is some stuff on there which they reckon is not good, but honestly, I let my kids, or I used to at least let them lick the bowl when I was cooking something, so with raw egg in it. Never got sick. Athletes eat raw eggs all the time. They don't get salmonella. And what happens when a dog's in the wild? I mean, it finds a nest somewhere that's been like weeks or even months old and eats the stinkiest eggs. They get crooked, so I've been doing it for 20 years. Never had a problem. The other thing I feed my dogs is small fish. Herrings, yellow-eyed mullet, uh, piper. I'll give them that because it's a high omega-3. And cooked fish is fine. Just be careful of the bones. If you're going to do uh, organ meat and you're killing your own sheep, remember to cook it or if you're getting it from a certified butcher or a freezing works where it's been checked because you don't want your dog to get high dated so cook your, your sheep organs and your meat. Paste, leave it. In the water. That'll do Bruno. Bruno's getting upset because Pace has got the possum that he wants. So in the wild first thing you do is you just pluck it himself like that and then you'd uh, turn to the meat but he's been fed so that's going to go to Bruno but before we do we're going to whip off the tail and we're going to whip off the claws. The reason I take the uh, claws off is because dogs can choke on them or they can do damage to the belt, although I would imagine in the wild they have no problem. So I'm just going to whip those off. Bruno can hear the old chopping going, he knows what that means. He knows it's time for a whole possum. I'll leave a little bit of tail on so I've got something to hold on to. And that's enough. Right, we'll give this to the big boy. Good dog. Sit. Stay. Right, pros and cons to feeding your dog possum. Obviously you've got to go out and hunt it, and you've got to carry it back. One of these is bloody heavy. Some possums can get up to 4k or even over. So do the math, you know, you're catching 8 possums to bring back for dog tuck, it's a lot to carry. So another thing is, they will have worms in them. So you should be feeding your dogs every, say, 12 weeks, worm tablets with their food. Today I'm going to be worming my two younger ones. He's been done already. The worm tablet will keep the uh, possums worms at bay. Regardless of that, you should be worming your dogs anyway. He's starting to shake because he's getting really like waiting for the command. Eat up. In your box. Get in. So other than that, it's a whole food for the dog. It's got your calcium. I wouldn't go in there, mate. I wouldn't go in there. It's got your, your natural fats, all your oils, tendons, the brain of the animal. Bruno will crunch that. I wouldn't go in there, Pace. <laughs> You'll crunch up that whole skull and get all the omega-3 that's in the brain, all the dried blood, 
all the stomach content that's got really good stuff that he can't break down, like all the vegetation. Dogs cannot break down cellulose, can't break down vegetation. The possum can, that's where we'll get it. I've already done Bruno, but I've got to do Pace and B today, so worm tablets. Pace come. Stick it right to the back and poke it down. And then give him his favourite bit of possum. Put that on top of it, helps it go down. Right, we'll go and feed your mate a bit of uh, worm tablet too. Down, good boy. It's the worm tablet and a bit of the good stuff. Yeah, Pace, you don't need any more. You've had heaps today, buddy. Worming done. Right, yeah, coming to the end of the video now. And at the beginning of the video, I asked you guys, what did you think had the most nutritional value? A roll of posse yum or an entire possum? Bit of a funny question, really, because it comes down to this. You can't feed an entire possum to a dog like this little fella here, Pace. But an entire possum is, in fact, a whole food source for a dog. You have to cut it up and you have to get a section of its liver, a section of its heart, a section of its kidneys and do portions and then give them the possum over a course of about a week. Whereas a dog at 65kg like Bruno, he'll wolf the whole lot down, that's an entire meal for him. He wants more posse, I'm not going to get it mate, you've been fed. So, pros and cons were, this here is a hell of a lot easier to get than go harvest in the hills. The possum is a lot of work. Now, the possum is free if you don't mind doing the hard yards, this does cost you money. If you're not in a situation where you can go out and hunt your own possum or get awful like lung, heart and kidney and all that good stuff, then the alternative would be to find a product that's got that all in it. Bang for your buck, this is probably one of the best value dog rolls on the market because you only need to give them a little bit of it. What else? There's no parasites or worms in this where there isn't possum, so that's another plus for this here. But nutrition wise they're both the same, this is just a lot less work because it's already sectioned up. Good luck with your own dogs, feeding them, find the right thing that works for them and be good. If you can't be good, then be careful. See you later. Eat up. He'll stay loyal if you're rich or poor, ugly as sin and you fart the store. And that's why we call dog man's best friend. That's why we call dog man's best friend. That's why we call dog man.